How would you like to have a machine that could make anything you wanted? Sounds good, doesn't it? Well, this is now possible through the magic of 3D printers. And while you might not yet see a 3D printer sitting alongside your toaster or your TV at home, you will start to see them more and more in places like schools, in shops, in hospitals and many other places. But what is a 3D printer and how does 3D printing allow us to make almost anything from nothing? Well, first, we need to take a step back and look at how we normally make stuff. Basically, there are four ways we make things. The first way is called subtractive manufacturing. In subtractive manufacturing, we take a lump of material like wood or metal or stone and we cut away some parts of it to make the thing we want. So, we remove or subtract, just like you do in maths, the material we don't need to create something. And this could be carving a wooden chair from a tree or making a statue from some stone. The second way of making stuff is called forming. And here we take a block of material and we apply a force to change its shape. And my personal favourite of a formed object is Wallace and Gromit, made by shaping or forming plasticine. The third way we make things is called casting. And this is where you take a solid material, you make it into a liquid, and you pour it into a mould. And a nice example of casting, one of my favourites, is the way we make chocolate bunnies and Easter eggs. There's also a fourth way we make stuff, and that is called additive manufacturing. And this is where we have nothing to begin with, and you take your material and you add it exactly where you want it until you have your final object. 3D printing is one type of additive manufacturing and it involves making an object by adding material one tiny layer at a time. So, how do you do that? Well, it all starts by making a drawing of the thing you want on your computer. The computer then makes a special kind of file which it sends to the 3D printer and the 3D printer reads that file and prints the object layer by layer to make the thing you want. That sounds interesting, but why would you want to do that? 3D printing can help people to make new shapes and new objects that were not previously possible, and all sorts of different materials can be used, like plastics or metals or food, or even, even living cells that your body is made of. So, who uses 3D printers? Who cares about this? Engineers are using 3D printers to make parts of jet engines that are lighter and stronger to make aeroplanes more efficient and use less fuel. Doctors are using 3D printers to make new hands and arms and legs that are perfectly fitted for the patients who need them. Even chefs are experimenting to make amazing new types of food that you just couldn't even imagine. And hospitals are using 3D printers to make new body parts for people, such as new bones, to repair really bad fractures, perhaps to the face or to the hand. And even using 3D printers to make objects from cartilage, the thing that your ear is made of, to make new ears for people who may have had a bad accident. One day, we may even be able to 3D print new organs inside your body, like kidneys or livers, using the patient's own cells in these printers. 3D printing is already changing the way we make stuff, and who knows what amazing things that you could make with a 3D printer in the future.